This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, May 12th, 2015. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have the one system moving out of the Great Lakes into the northeast that's moving away from us. And the next system that we have to watch is moving into the Pacific Northwest, Northern California. It's going to be affecting us later into the week and weekend. However, today we'll have partly to mostly sunny skies, more clouds in the north than in the south, highs 50s and 60s today, still remaining rather cool after that cold front moved through late on Sunday night and early yesterday morning. The next system is going to start to approach here on Wednesday. It should be partly to mostly sunny for most of the day with an increase in clouds late in the day. Still remains dry, will be warmer, 60s and lower 70s for readings here tomorrow on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, especially Wednesday night into Thursday, the shower and thunderstorm chances will increase and return. It looks to be that the temperatures will be likely in the 60s and 70s. Any sunshine we may get during this period may bump the temperatures up maybe into the middle 70s. Here on Friday could be one of those days where we could see mainly dry conditions during the daylight hours and we could see some peaks of sunshine. Otherwise, the shower and thunderstorm threat continues Thursday, most of, maybe a little bit of a break Friday. And then going into the weekend, it looks like Saturday. There's a chan good chance of some showers and thunderstorms then as well. Reading still staying in the upper 60s and lower to middle 70s. Sunday looks to be another good, decent chance of showers and thunderstorms with the cold front coming in. The low pressure center out over the Dakotas. And then we have this little dry slot across the Plain States. That might kick in here late Sunday night into the early part of Monday. That could make Monday pretty dry across the area, but we still can't rule out an isolated shower or a thunderstorm on Monday, depending on whether the timing is a little off and it slows down a bit. So Monday could still be rather showery. As we go into Tuesday, next Tuesday, see a trough over the south and west, ridge over the just off the center just off the east coast we're pretty much in between the two we have a disturbance the disturbance moving across the great lakes that'll be taking the cold front and the shower and storm threat east of the state here by next tuesday and we could see some drier weather as we go toward the beginning of next week as well but we still have plenty of time to watch that and speaking of that going into the extended period this is may 23rd which is saturday of memorial day weekend big ridge over the south and east big trough in the middle part of the country and a disturbance across the southern and central plains what does that mean golf is open showers and thunderstorms again we can't we're well you can't we don't want anybody canceling any plans they have for memorial day weekend but it looks to be at least at least at this point somewhat active across the area but we've seen that in the past the end of the forecast may 27th we have a disturbance coming into the northern rockies big vortex across the eastern part of Canada, Hudson Bay, Labrador, in that area. That's bringing a kind of a bit of a northerly flow across the Great Lakes and into New England a bit. But around here, maybe a disturbance bringing a shower or storm, but of course this is a week and, or two and a half weeks out. Maybe some showers and storms across the Gulf Coast with seasonal temperatures at least at this point. Satellite image from last evening. There's the cold front across the eastern Great Lakes down into Texas. Lots of showers and storms there. Next disturbance moving through the Intermountain West, the Rockies, the Sierra Nevadas. That's the system we got to watch out for. In the western Great Lakes, there's a lot of low clouds. But west of those low clouds, you can see it'll be very cool. Frost and freeze advisories in the Plain States. Flood watches across Texas up in Oklahoma where they've gotten a lot of rain over the last week. And it looks like by the QPF chart here, rainfall for the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock shows that they could get at least two to four more inches of rain in Oklahoma, Texas. Maybe around here about an inch or two. Maybe some heavier totals in any repeating thunderstorms. Mm -hmm.